Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and I hope you're having a great day so far. So welcome to Let's Play Plutonia, starting off with Map 1, Congo, on Ultraviolence. So, let's take care of the shotgunners first of all. Okay, he just did that for me, thank you. <coughs> oh dear. So, Plutonia is... it's quite tough. Obviously. So let's take care of this. Take all the stuff that we need. So what I normally tend to do is I ignore these chain gunners here and take care of these two first. Okay, there we go. Let's try and oh, I'm gonna need that health pack now. <laughs> Damn it. Just unlock these chain gunners. Take care of these imps. As soon as I grab that super shotgun, the arch vial is gonna spawn in. He sometimes goes over there for some reason, I've no idea why. Nope, no thank you. Nope. There we go. Easy enough. I dare say that. While trying to play Plutonia, am I brave? Alright. Let's just get rid of this chain gunner for the sake of getting rid of him. And we're gonna go into the Revenant room with the rocket launcher. Uh, we're gonna save that health pack for later, actually. Let's just wake these up. Let's just wake these Revenants up. Almost call them March Vials for some reason. Alright, we're gonna make as much use of this space as we can here. Without getting blown up, for crying out loud. Oh, come on, please. There we go. Alright, lovely. Let's grab the rockets and the rocket launcher because they'll come in very, very handy later on. Let's go upstairs and then take care of these train gunners here. without crossing past the torches, because you'll know why. Hear that door opening? That's the second and final arch vial of the map, and this is where the rocket launcher comes in really, really handy. Just gotta make sure I'm at the correct distance to make sure I'm actually hitting the arch vial. There we go, wonderful. And that takes care of that. And now we're gonna take this chain gunner. I've woken the spooky boy up again. Let's make sure this pain in the mental doesn't spawn any lost souls whatsoever. Only a couple, that's fine. No big deal. Okay, it's going pretty well. Let's see how much chain gun ammo I've got. Nah, not a lot. So I'm going to try and not trigger the platform to raise the main gibbons just yet. So if you can get close enough, you can, you know, snipe off these chain gunners without raising the platform. But of course, once you cross that specific part of the map, then the platform will raise, of course. Alright, let's grab the secret and the only secret of this map. Right here. And let's go grab the blue key. And of course, Plutonia loves traps, so be careful of those two chain gunners that will plop down before you. Let's take care of these imps. Other side. There we go. And then as soon as we hit this button, be careful again, because another trap of chain gunners. As if there's enough chain gunners on Plutonia. I mean, cough, cough, ghost town. I can't wait to play map 5, that's going to be so much fun. Not even being sarcastic either, I actually do enjoy playing map 5. Even pistol starting, it's really fun. Okay, 
let's take care of this monkey boy here. Come on. Die. There we go. Perfect. I intend to use this part as cover to make sure he doesn't completely squash me. Alright. Awesome. Okay, so that's pretty much Congo, and for the next map we're going to be doing is the Well of Souls up next. So, if you've enjoyed this video as I've enjoyed making it, please be sure to leave a like on this video, it really does help me out a ton. And also be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss any videos that I've got planned in the future. And have a great morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. I'm Coffee and Doom, thank you so much for watching and for all of your support, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.